Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Let's support Bobby's channel. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back to Ask a Farmer. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have a very special question for our food producer, Rob. But before we get into it, guys, again, if you want to support our Ask a Farmer series, please make sure to check out our GoFundMe page because the Ask a Farmer series is just a teaser, a trailer of sorts to give you a little bit of insight what we want to do once I get over to Australia. This is where it will really go down and expose the vegan agenda for what it is. All right, with no further ado, a question for Rob. Rob, doesn't raising animals require much more land? Hmm. You're right. Livestock needs six times more area when they're grazing than to grow a crop but they utilize the field in a very different manner. There has to be feed all year round for them. So they don't eat the out to nothing. There's always feed left for the insects. Then all the smaller animals, so the snakes, lizards, and birds, and mice, they all survive. And then the predator animals can stay over the top of that. So there's a complex ecosystem that gets from being re retained when you're grazing, that doesn't get to be there when you crop. When you crop, nothing left. So even though livestock use six times the area, the kill count is still significantly less because of the way it's being operated. The grazing pattern means that all they have done is displace the larger herbivores. So 150 years ago, when they decided to clear this place, they put sheep and cattle on here and some parts they cropped. So the area that was cropped produced a lot more calories per acre. The area that was grazed allowed room for other animals to survive. It was a complex ecosystem. The other animals operate alongside the sheep and the cattle. Now, sure, they displaced the larger herbivores. So there would be kangaroos, wallabies, and emus that were displaced 150 years ago. The utilization rate is very different, and that's why the areas are so different in size. The other thing that happens is grazing usually occurs in places where you can't crop. So the rainfall isn't high enough to crop, or there's too much rain, or it's too steep. There's a whole lot of reasons why you can't crop, or it doesn't rain at the right times, or the rain comes at the wrong times, or it's too frosted, it's too high. Further north past the cropping regions, where you get into the grazing country, it's too dry to crop. In some cases, they're only running one beast, one cow, per square mile. They're having very little impact on the environment because one cow might only see one patch of dirt once in its life as it's grazing past. Grazing livestock is very, very different to running crop. You have very little chemical runoff when you're grazing. You have very little impact on other animals when you're grazing. But the downside, you need a much larger area for the same number of calories. But that's because the way they utilize the land is very different. We need the food source to remain for the whole year because obviously we want our grazing animals to continue to eat. So while that food source is there, all the other animals can survive alongside as opposed to cropping. Cropping, the area is a lot smaller for the same number of calories, but it's way more intensive. You're utilizing 90% of the resources of that paddock. So that bit of dirt is getting used. It's only gonna be used to grow that crop. Everything else is killed, everything else is poisoned, everything else is baited, everything is destroyed for the focus is on producing calories on that paddock. So that's what the difference between cropping and grazing, and that's why there's an area difference, obviously. With grazing, we're allowing room for other animals. With cropping, none.